So for this fifth week, I decided to be more optimistic. Fifth week? I didn't record the last three weeks because I didn't have the time to. I was actually kind of lazy. Whee! For the second week, I worked on my communication skills. I thought it was all going to be about swag and being cool and chatting people up, but it was actually about just charging my phone and checking my email. I also rediscovered that I could call people up via digital stuff. Freaky. Magic. Technology. I'm okay at socializing with people when I'm around them, but I'm not okay with socializing with people when they're a couple miles away. So, I had some kind of asymmetry there. Whee! For a third week, I had to use my imagination. What does that even mean? Honestly, I had no idea for the first half of the week, and then I actually started making some use of it. It turns out visualization is really useful when you want to get something done. Also, whenever I had an awesome idea, I'd usually shoot it down, but that week, I actually let it flow and some of them became fruitful. Whee! Fourth week, I had to go to a Ninja Warrior training course. Pull-ups are eternal. So I decided to work on my health in hopes that I could bulk up before I went to the training course. I thought it was going to be about exercising consistently, but it turns out it was actually about fighting laziness, because laziness is really hard to fight. Sometimes I wouldn't even have enough time during the day to do anything, so I'd have to cram it in, which isn't a good idea, because that's like not possible. Also that I had a serious problem with staying up too late all the time. I decided to be more optimistic for the fifth week. That's this week. Um, one thing I learned that I was tense all the time, so I'd be very everything. And I just had to chill out during that week. I used to scoff at people who said, take it easy, but it turns out they have some solid advice there. My parents are gigantic pessimists, and they influence me, which makes me a little bit of a pessimist, a lot of a pessimist. And one thing they do is they don't celebrate the victories when they have them. They just say, oh, finally, it got done. Instead of being genuinely happy about it. So I had to work on that, too, about being genuinely happy when I got something awesome done. We have to put up with a lot of bad stuff that happens during our day. And one thing I learned that week was not to sweat the small stuff, which is what I did. I sweated the small stuff. Turns out you don't sweat small stuff. You're supposed to sweat big stuff. It's bad for your pores.